Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Shilohs Updates. Railway Track Components All railway track components play different roles in railway track. Main part of railway track is steel rail. Steel rail always acts as two parallel lines. In general, steel rail is used to provide a surface for train and guide the train forward. It also transmits the pressure from locomotive to railway sleepers. According to kilos per meter, steel rail normally include light rail, heavy rail and crane rail. For different markets, steel rail can be classified into GP, UIC, DIN, ASTM, etc. Ballast Most of us have been curious about the stones on railway tracks. Those stones on railway tracks are called as ballast. Ballast is a layer of broken stone, gravel or any other gritty sand materials placed and packed below and around sleepers for distributing the load from sleepers to the foundation. It provides drainage as well as giving longitudinal and lateral stability to track. Size of ballast used varies from 1.9 cm to 5.1 cm. The best ballast is that which contains stones varying in size from 1.9 cm to 5.1 cm with reasonable proportion of intermediate sizes. Ballast is most economical in long run. Requirements of ballast is it should be cubical shape and also it should be angular in shape with sharp edges. Ballast should be tough and should not crumple under heavy loads. Ballast should not make the track dusty or muddy. It should not produce any chemical reaction with rails and sleepers. Minimum depth of ballast is half into center to center distance of sleeper spacing minus width of sleepers. For example, if sleeper spacing is 65 cm and width of sleeper is 25 cm. If we put this value in the above formula, we will get minimum depth of ballast would be 20 cm. Railway sleeper Railway sleeper also known as railroad tie, cross tie. It is laid perpendicular to steel rail. Railway sleeper can be divided into three types. Wooden sleeper, steel sleeper, concrete sleeper. Nowadays, concrete sleeper is used mostly. The main function of railway sleeper is it gives firm and even support to rail. It should have certain flexibility and elasticity. Railway sleeper acts as elastic medium between rail and ballast. Railway sleeper align the rails and keep the right rail catch. Next component is railway fish plate. Railway fish plate also called as rail joint. It is used to connect end of two rails by fish bolts. According to steel rail standard, railway fish plate has three types. For light rail, 8 kg, 9 kg, 12 kg, 15 kg, 18 kg, 22 kg, 24 kg and 30 kg. For heavy rail, 38 kg, 43 kg, 50 kg, 60 kg. For crane rail, QU70, QU80, QU100, QU120. Next component is Railway Fastening System. It refers to a group of railway fasteners that are used to fasten steel rail to railway sleepers. This is called Pantrol Clip. Pantrol Clip is responsible for attaching the rail to the base plate so that the rail cannot move vertically or horizontally. The main function of rail fastening system is, is to prevent steel rail from lateral and horizontal movements. 
Besides that, rail fastening system also can absorb and transfer the pressure from locomotive to railway sleeper. In simple words, rail fastening system ensures the rail in catch and protects rail safety. Next component is railway switch. It is a special component of railway track which is applied in the railway crossing. It has another name called turnout. Railway switch is simply a rail component for converting track. It increases the trafficability of railroad truck. Next component is railway food bridge. The bridge which connects different platforms at a particular station is called railway food bridge. It can be used by passengers to pass the railway track from one side to another side. Do you know the purpose of three electric lines above railway track? There are three wires running above rail track. Written wire, catenary wire and also conduct wire. Conduct wire is also called as conducting wire. First one written wire. It protects conducting wire from lightning. Catenary wire. It supports the conducting wire. Conduct wire. This wire carries the current required to run the locomotive. The pathways should have a minimum width of 2 meter and should ensure that it is clear of all obstructions such as signaling equipment etc. Did you know why are signals in railway is opposite as compared to road signals in India? That is from top to bottom, green, yellow and red. The answer is railway track is a permanent and mostly unidirectional track. Owing to train's huge momentum, it has a long braking distance. To make sure that the engine driver of train sees the danger aspect that is red color well in advance. The red light is kept at his eye level. All these railway track components work together which keep the railway safety and reliability. I hope this video helps you a lot. If you like this video, kindly subscribe Civil Engineering Shilu's updates and click the bell icon near to it. Share this video to your friends. Do support Civil Engineering Shilu's updates. If you have any doubt regarding this video or any other doubts, you can mail me. My mail ID is shilu'supdates at gmail.com. We are doing 3D elevation works at affordable cost. If you want, you can contact 93539. Triple five nine one. Thank you.